I'm in my bed. I'm in my bed. Hey, it's Tori and Dee. We're at Space Bar Recording Studio with Bandit Montana. Who is Bandit Montana? Bandit Montana, man. Uh, it could be a lot, you know, but uh, I don't know if you say a battle rapper. I don't want to say more so, but I'm an artist before anything. You know, that's where I really started at. So uh, I would say an artist slash battle rapper slash entertainer. No, slash no, no. songwriter slash because songwriter. I know you're an artist and songwriter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. You know, whatever goes from there, goes from there. We're just going to build from there, you know? Okay. Yeah. So, when was your moment that you realized I am rap, I am hip hop, I am an artist and I'm not going to be a waste of talent? When was your aha uh -huh moment? Uh, like, uh, it. It got to be grammar school, you know, like a regular every, you know, every average rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's just how it happened was it just I come up with one line and then you know, people will be like, yo, that's crazy, you know what I mean? So, and after that, it was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I could really get their attention and now they're looking at me like this is something I could really turn in, you know what I'm saying? I could really go somewhere. So, I, that's when I just took it from there and I just really sat down and wrote a long song. I'm like, wow. You know, so it just after that, it just, everything got better. I, mean, I just got nicer, nicer. And it's, now you're here, here. Bandit Montana. Yeah. So when you say it started in grammar school, who was your inspiration when you're going to school? Because I know when I was a kid, I was listening to things I shouldn't have been listening to. Yeah. And um, um, who who were those people for you? G, I just listen to you. Every all the time, my mom used to like. It's to the point where like I used to try to buy the CD. She had take the CD from me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was uh I listened to a lot of Cassidy. I listened to uh Papoose. Okay. You know, some Papoose was coming out with the alphabetical slaughter, you know okay. what I'm saying? And I was going grammar school, so I'm like, man. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I came up on. G unit and a lot of stuff like that and dip set and you know, so on and so forth. Okay. So you weren't the type of student to kinda Disrupt the class, bang on the desk, start no, rapping. I wasn't. I, I, see, with me, I wasn't ever really bad. See, what I did was I just, just I played. Lurkly. Yeah, I played yeah, lurkly. I battled people in bathrooms, and that's where the battle rap became with the music. You know, with the playground. Yeah, yeah after playground school. after school. I had my own little studio in my in my house. I built. That's like a little bit after like, like I'm gonna say sixth grade middle school and I don't know how to really do it and I just and there with this, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I mean? When was the first time you performed in front of an audience? Oh man, talent show. 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 Talent the time we had uh, a couple people, you know, in the town, like, we had we were two, uh, well, God, right, two, or two people right, that passed away, and I did a song, like, you know, like, and, 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 pretty much towards them, right, and it was, like, this whole school, 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 yeah, when it's something sentimental yeah, like that, especially yeah. for a school, yeah. everybody starts supporting you, and yeah. I mean, even hate is love. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 And as an artist, when was the first time you actually battled somewhere? Like an official battle, rap battle, not just in the bathroom on the playground, as an artist? Uh, I battled, my first battle was, uh, I had to be like 17, I battled, the guy I battled wasn't, I wasn't supposed to battle, I just had, I just been watching uh, uh, battles, I, like, one guy I always watched with Arsenal, like, and now, it's crazy because that's my man, you know what I'm saying, so it was just like, I used to like watch Arsenal heavy, my first battle, I was supposed to battle with uh, some guy named Han Smith, he couldn't show up, you know, so what happened was they had me battle somebody that, didn't even have a battle that night. He just moved the battle. And the battle, it was, it was, it was crazy because I, I feel like I won. You know what I'm saying? But if you watch the battle to, to this day, that's a, my, my name used to be Bricks. It's the type of that you Brick for sincere. It was a loss, but I think I still won clearly. I just feel like he, like a lot of the judges was, you know, his friends. You know what I mean? And then like after the battle, we came into the one in the room and like you won that right. I'm like, you know, I'm like why? why? So it's still to this day, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It really didn't hurt me because you gotta look at me where I'm at now, you know what I'm saying? And I never stopped, you know what I mean? So. Okay, that's dope. So, I know you're an artist, you're a songwriter, you're a rapper, you, you battle. 
my question is, you have a clothing line that you're working on. So tell me, tell us what, what's that about. Uh, real rap, man. Real rap is just something, man, that you know what, like, what I live about. You know what I'm saying? Real rap is real. You know what I'm saying? It's everything you learn about you, you know what I'm saying? You gonna go get into just being yourself and You know what I'm saying? And that's what I want to promote. You know what I mean? So I got the first, uh, the first, uh, the first, uh, the first, uh, the first edition of that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? That's, that'll be out, uh, 19, you know what I'm saying? You could definitely order one while I got PayPal, you know what I'm saying? I got it. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's 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 Title high rise. Um, you know, just title that because I'm on a high rise. You know what I mean? It's just everything I've been through, you know, my past, you know, with music, and you just feel like I'm going to different levels and different levels. And you're just gonna keep going up. Keep going so it's high rise. And it's like the things you're talking about, you know, the, the, the message I'm trying to get out to everybody is just like, I gotta watch out. High rise, you know what I mean? You know, it's like great music, man. You know, I'm, I'm definitely looking for it. Should be out uh, the end of April. In the April, in the April, yeah. In the April, beginning of May. Still working on certain stuff, you know, re recording different tracks, you know what I'm saying? So that's definitely going to be out. I need everybody to look out for that. Everybody that's watching, look out for that. So. Okay. So where can we find you? Where we can find your music? All right. So you can find me on Ben in Montana. That's on Instagram. You can uh, follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram too, but follow me on Twitter, underscore Ben in Montana. SoundCloud.com backslash Real Rap 6. And, uh, you know, that's it. You know, that's it. Follow me on Periscope too, because I go live i talk to everybody you know what i'm saying so that's you can follow band in montana and you know just follow me and you know step on what i'm doing i'm tori with band in montana we're on personal space tv please subscribe now <laughs> right now <laughs> weed in the blunt henny in the styrofoam cruising with my team you will never see me ride alone walk up drive by some beef like five guys i ain't gotta clap them i can slap them with a high five i'm a trendsetter been better than most with a toast i can turn a human being to a ghost i'm a nigga with attitude they need to show gratitude known for my lines like longitude latitude knocking on your door mashed up like it's halloween heard he got cheese i ain't leaving till i find the green that's on my mom i'm hitting whoever try to scream hit the jackpot i ain't I had to use a slot machine cruising down the street in my car noticed i said car i could have some different shit by tomorrow i'm giving niggas more than a scar i got something called the clip shit giving more shots than a bar grinding if you don't like it then nigga deal with it many hoes always looking for a meal ticket they respect me because they know i'm from the streets and my flow so sick like the owner of the beat because the boys in the hood are always hard keep talking and i'ma have to pull your car i know nothing in life but to be legit and don't quote me boy cause i ain't said shit let's go